Rochelle, as soon as the food item starts, get stuck in. Get stuck in. Get, oh, you've already started eating? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Hold Sorry. on for, hold <laughs> down for the sauces. Oh. You think we finished this? Um, no, um, yeah, well, good luck with our competition now. <laughs> uh, before she showed us her side dishes, Cloda's here to explain how to make those delicious Easter sauces. Yes. Cloda, I mean, Vernon's at half of it. I know. Uh, are we still going to be able to do that? Yes. <laughs> Come here, we've got three gorgeous sauces, because I think that on Easter Sunday, everybody either does a roast chicken or a roast lamb, like I do traditionally, or you might do a roast piece of pork, whatever. So I've got three sauces that you can serve with any of them. I mean, the mint is classic that you have with the lamb, but I've also got salsa verde, which I learned when I lived in Italy. One of the best things I took back from Italy with me. And then I'm also gonna do a red currant gravy. So the first thing oh. is the fresh mint sauce. This is a classic French recipe. I Claimed, uh, trained classically French, um, and there's lots of fresh mint. Just putting that in there. Oh, the competition yeah. side of things. Italy, France, <laughs> <laughs> Ireland. <laughs> so I've got fresh mint and then caster sugar in there, and then you put in boiling water on top. And I think that for anybody who's never made a fresh mint sauce before, and they love fresh mint sauce before, do this. It's so simple. I mean, if you can't boil an egg, you can do this. Do you know what I mean? It can, yeah, yeah, It's the most simple thing to do. It's that simple. It's that simple thing to do. And then you're putting in... What does the um, sugar do to the mint, then? Why do you put sugar on, on the... To sweeten it. Oh, OK, OK. And then you put Obviously. in... Um, <laughs> 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 OK, ten points to the, ten see points the boy on the left. Really? Dermot, hurry up, mate. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so it's good to be inquisitive and ask questions. OK, so I just put boiling water over the... Why do, you, why do you put mint in <laughs> <laughs> to make it minty. <laughs> to make it minty. So while you were figuring out caster sugar, um, I put in some boiling water. And basically what the boiling water and the caster sugar does, it creates a sugar syrup, Back okay? And then I've got fresh mint in there. Put in some sea salt just to season it up, right? That brings out the flavour of the mint. And then when it's all cooled down, I'm just going to do it now, but wait until it cools down and then you put in your vinegar into it. And then you just let it, you have to let it infuse. So you sit it aside and let it infuse for 15 minutes. Now, ladies and gentlemen, would you like to have a little taste? Oh, yeah. yeah. OK, Absolutely. so dip it in there. That's the fresh mint sauce. It's mm. so good. You can make this a day ahead. Um, I wouldn't make it two days ahead because the green mint leaves kind of go a little bit brown after a couple of days. Do you love it? I, I'm, I'm I love sorry. It. I, what? Sorry. I, I just... I Claudia, forgot. they're all laughing at me. What are you, what are you laughing Claudia? at? Who's Claudia? <laughs> Who's Claudia? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Claudia. Um, Claudia, I apologise. I'm joking. Oh, do you know why I just Claudia, did that? Claudia. So I had a taste with a spoon because when I'm cooking with Tony Singh, he makes me taste everything with a spoon. Oh, so I've got right. to taste everything going okay. along the way. But oh, by the time okay. it comes to eating it, you're okay, so well, it's Claudia in the kitchen today, honey. <laughs> yeah, Claudia. I get it. No, nice. that mint sauce would be very um, powerful on its own, quite vinegary. You kind of need to have it with the meat and it's mm. so good and the great mm. thing about this with the vinegar and the mint is it cuts through kind of like fattier roast that's why it's so good at roast okay now on to my favorite mm. this is the salsa verde if you want to pimp things up or do something extra kind of like different this um easter make a salsa verde uh, honest to god so everybody knows i make aioli every week it's, i i I think I, I was posting my lunch on my Instagram on Saturday and I was like, oh God, I've done aioli again. So they only think that I can cook aioli. But it this, goes with everything, though. Aioli goes with everything. Um, and salsa verde goes with everything. As I said, I learned this when I lived in Italy. It's anchovy, garlic, capers, fresh basil, flat leaf parsley, white wine vinegar and extra virgin mm. olive oil. It is amazing. Are the anchovies not overpowering? No, and I was just talking to you about this earlier, right? Mm. So I don't like anchovies. Um, like, if you give me a Caesar salad and there's an ancho on it, Ooh. I mean, I'll almost be like, Ugh, yeah. with it. But oh, if it. in this mixed with very big, strong flavours, you get the saltiness, and I love it. OK, so chop up your anchovy like this, OK? Nice and finely. And then in that goes into the bowl, like that. OK, and then next, then, I'm putting in garlic. I'm putting in the capers. And another thing with the, with the anchovies is if you were just having, like if you really wanted to try something different, and I promise you this is amazing, pop your anchovies all over your lamb and roast it. They melt into it. It doesn't give a fishy result in it. It gives like a really delicious, like um, saltiness in it. You're almost tasting it going, what is that? It's so good. Okay. okay. Yeah, try it. Maybe not on Easter Sunday, because then if nobody likes it, you'll hate me forever. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's a risk to do it 
First time, first time. on Easter Sunday. Okay, so I've got garlic, anchovies, capers all chopped up in there. Now I've got um, fresh basil. I've got flat leaf parsley, which will give a lovely peppery flavour to it. No. White wine vinegar, but you could also use lemon juice if you want to. I use lemon juice at everything instead of white wine vinegar. I don't know why. I just I love the taste of lemons. I love them. Mm. But the white wine vinegar in this is very good. And then olive oil in it too. You don't need to put any salt into this one because it's quite salty already with the anchovies. This you can make ahead as well. And this, folks, is amazing with everything. Roast fish, everything. Have a taste of it. Does that yours. taste better if you let it sit for a while or um, not? Do you know what? It, 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 the flavours will get a little bit more intense, mm. but it's just as good. OK, now moving on to the gravy. It smells amazing. So you're roasting oh, it dish. OK, mm. so we're here oh. on, we're on Easter Sunday, mm -hmm. right? And you've roasted your chicken or your lamb, whatever. You take your lamb off your chicken, off your pork, off, pop it to the side, tent it with some tin foil to keep it warm. And you should be doing that anyhow, because meat should rest for at least a half an hour before okay. you, you, you um, carve it. Then you get your roasting dish. You pop it on top of the, of the hob. And I remember about 22 years ago mm. when I first started training as a chef. And I was in Ballymaloo Cookery, or Ballymaloo House, and um, the late Mrs. Allen was there who owned it and she was quite posh and she, she saw that I put this into the dishwasher, you know, the washing area, and she picked it up and she was like, who put this in the dishwasher? And I was like, <laughs> no, I'm going to get murdered. What do I say? So I said it was me. And she came over and she said, this, my dear. And obviously is... we apologise for your language. Oh, did I just say yeah. shit? Oh, shoot, shit. No, I said shoot. It doesn't what matter what you said. <laughs> because so we know sorry. what you said. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, Claudia, can I just say that sauce is absolutely Unreal, isn't it? Yeah, it tastes so fresh and yeah, it tastes really the, uh, um, healthy. For the language. Apology. Okay, sorry, 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 <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. There you go. Now, I've got my roasting dish over here, and what she was saying was so gold, this is golden, is because you scrape off all the juices of this, pop in some chicken stock, and then you pop in red wine. If you want to, you put in red wine into it. You've got to put in red wine into it. Now, you could go quite creative on this then and put in some garlic in here, rosemary. This red currant in it, guys, I tell you. That looks it, amazing. It's so good with mm. it. You've got some in front of you there if you want to taste it. It's in the little jug. In this? Mm. Yeah, mix this all around. Oh, and then you, you basically yeah. just let it all thicken <gasps> up for about oh, 10 minutes. That looks a good gravy, doesn't it? Oh, Isn't that oh. good? You know your gravies. I know you know that oh, looks like a good gravy. So if it, does, if it doesn't like thicken up, make a little roux, which is half butter half flour, and then add that in mixed up, it'll thicken up, but it is so good. Red currant jelly and it's a jar. Isn't that oh. good? Oh my goodness. Do you like it? What's your favourite out of the three? The oh. gravy. Mm. You're the gravy, you're the... I could just drink oh, that I... straight out of the... This one, <laughs> this one and the gravy. Mm. Yay! That is really good, but thank you. But the salsa verde and the gravy, mm. oh, yeah, they're really good, good, aren't they? I'm getting worried. Mm. <laughs> I'm getting worried. That was mega. All right, thanks, Claudia. Thank you. Apologies. <laughs> we'll be seeing you a little bit later on, won't we? Yes, I'm going to be doing three fabulous sides to serve up with the your with roast the gravy. Sunday. Mm, perfect. Now, for all the details of today's recipes and more delicious ideas from our this morning chefs, all you've got to do is download the free app.